The final back-to-back -back set of weekend races on the Formula One schedule comes up this weekend with the Mexican Grand Prix from the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City. NBCSN's pit reporter and insider Will Buxton is back from the Mexico City paddock to check in with the field. Among the topics of note this weekend are Lewis Hamilton being on the verge of clinching his fourth world championship, Max Verstappen back the week after his controversial post-race penalty in Austin, Brendan Hartley and Pierre Gasly the new pair at Toro Rosso and Sergio Perez racing in front of his home fans on home soil. While this is the official pre-race paddock pass, it's not the only one from Mexico. Earlier this year Buxton and Jason Swales conducted a special episode looking at the country's automotive heritage and looking ahead to the Grand Prix. That's linked here. As for the new episode, it's below. Follow it Tony Dizino Sebastian Vettel has expressed his confidence in Ferrari Formula One chief Maurizio Arrival being amid speculation about the team principal's future, calling him a strong leader. Arrival Bean took over as Ferrari team principal ahead of the 2015 season, and has led the Italian mark through its most successful campaign for almost a decade this year. Despite having the fastest car heading into the season and Vettel taking four victories, a capitulation in the last six weeks has seen Ferrari drop out of the race for both F1 titles, with Lewis Hamilton set to win the Drivers' Championship for Mercedes this weekend. Ferrari's failure to win its first title since 2008 this year has led to questions about Arrival Bean's future, but Vettel was quick to defend his team boss in Thursday's FIA press conference ahead of the Mexican Grand Prix. Look at the results, look at where Ferrari was after 2014, how competitive Ferrari was in 2014 and how, sorry to say, what miserable shape it was, Vettel said. The spirit was down, so I think he's the key person responsible for bringing most of that back and to make the team grow, to open things up, to change things that have been said like that for 20 years before that, just because they used to be like that. I think he has a very innovative and creative way of thinking. So I think he's the right man, he's a very strong leader, I think he's well respected, I know he's well respected by all the people. Absolutely I'm a fan. As I said, the most important thing is that if you look at the result, it's coming. Obviously this year we would like it to be a bit different, especially towards the end but these things happen, we're still growing and we set ourselves the target at the very beginning to grow and to do something new, something different and we're still on that journey. Obviously the expectations are always high, you finish second in the championship, the year after you want to win, you don't manage to do that but I think where we've gone, 15 to 16, especially through 16 and then for 17, things are going and heading the right way and he's a key person in that. Follow at Luke Smith 1.